So I thought this would be a pretty good stage to test out the new Dokkan Fest Super 17. This is Red Zone Star Max, simply because the stage is always changing typing. So that makes things very interesting. So on this opening rotation, this is turn one. We have all links activated, right? We're getting six from Easy Super 17. The one different link is Brutal Beatdown that we're getting from the Tech Androids and Brutal Beatdown supplies the unit with 15% attack. Nonetheless, we're getting a total of eight key 60% attack and then 35% defense. And unlike Red Zone Brawly, which I think was the most recent stage I took this unit into, this stage is not canceling evasion. So their I say their primary defensive ability in the base form is being used here, which is very good. And remember, the way they're structured, they want to be in slot two to take advantage of the evasion at crit and crit chance. So what's interesting is that this is turn three. We actually managed to get the int LSL transformation. I believe Super 17 on the last turn, so turn one, he did take a lot of damage. We got sell out on turn two. Nonetheless, this is turn three. So we're getting six links again. Android Assault and Brutal Beatdowns from the Tech Android. And then GT, Nightmare, Fear and Faith. And then Fierce Battle is from Dr. Mew and Jiro. Again, that's six key, 60% attack, and then 30% defense. And remember, Dr. Mew and Jiro, we're getting their support, which is very good. I, the one thing I actually find very bizarre about Dr. Mew and Jiro is that they're not on the 200%. I have no idea why Dokkan decided to do that. They should have really structured this sideband unit around STR Super 17 because let's be honest, it's not like Super 17 is going to get a lot of buffs going forward, but I digress. Again, Dokkan just being silly for whatever reason. Again, very supreme rotation. This is probably going to be the best rotation of the video just because they're getting 8 key. 60% attack and then 35% defense. So we're getting all links activated from Intel Fighter 17, who honestly is not too crazy. I don't end up showing it, but he takes double digits from a normal from this cell maximum. That's all we can really ask for. And then remember, we're still getting the Dr. Mu and Jiro support. I, I hate this. In my notes, I have this as Dr. Mu. I got, I've got it. I don't know what it is. I keep calling him Dr. Mu in the notes, but uh, yeah, I digress. And this was a pretty interesting one, right? So this is, I believe, turn seven. Yes. Yes? No, it's turn six. Um, this was the opposing Super 17, right? He's taking a super attack or he's tanking a super attack. Now, this is pretty good because he gave me a double super attack. So his starter turn defense was 237,000. We multiply that by 1.7, which is what the Dokkan Fest gets when performing a super attack. And because of the double super attack, the 30% defense for one turn, we multiply that by 1.6, which nets him at 644,000 post super attack defense. Oh my. So, turn 7, we transform. I could have won here. This was an easy no item with int LSLs active available as well as the potential to double or triple super. Just dash him into slot 1 and you'll be fine. But remember, this is Super 17 showcase. I wanted to really test him out. So, after eating this first hit, Super 17's defense was 285,000. And he actually indeed here gives me a double super attack, which puts his defense at 571,342 with 51% damage reduction. Because remember, he's getting an extra portion of damage reduction, an extra 17% on top top of his 30, uh, 34 for the first four turns. And then after the third dip, we gain 643,000 defense, which is pretty strong. Now, we do end up with an L from Cell Max, but let me know what you think of the androids in this particular run. And I think I can stand by the fact that Super 17, I think within a vacuum, uh, I think he's he can be argued as the best you are. If I were to describe him, I feel like he's kind of like a Gamma free, right? Where his defense ceiling is far higher than Gamma 1's, and his offense is similar to Gamma 2's post the first four turns. But in a practical sense, I think it's like nigh impossible, right? To reach these aforementioned levels. And even little things like lack of Big Bad Boss, is the somewhat gated key blast nullification. Remember, you got to be under 70% health. And then the foresee enemy super attack effect, where it's pretty impossible to see that. It does make his design overall very frustrating. Let me know what you guys think of Super 17 in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.